so what is up guys the new video is up and this is about trees so if you haven't watched the link list section go there watch the link list first it's important where i have taught about how descriptively how to study link list stack and queue and then come back to this video this is also important with respect to any company trees are very important so how to study what are the important question and your doubts the doubts you asked on linkedin whatsapp telegram For this thing so the same thing has to be followed but you will see okay but yeah this if the things are same then why are you making the video again so this time it's tree and tree is the most important thing so i will tell you the important parts what to study and what big companies might ask in their interview in their coding rounds so it's very important it's not like the link list and all those things it's much important believe me i say that so what are you doing what we're doing going to do in this so if you see there are a lot of things up over here so from the introduction to trees then you can see there is binary tree then you can see how uh, one more thing very important in this video lesson is that they explain how these allocation of memory takes place during recursion the call stack that is a very important part which is not discussed in the written tutorials at geeks for geeks and all that thing so this is very important part what is important in it so you, you when you understand how these recursion stack stack works so for example you have done recursion of fibonacci series okay so those recursion are small recursion but when these recursions happen they happen in very large thing large stages okay simple one one function recursions are very simple to understand how these recursions are working but when it comes to two three four five times same thing recursion happening then how those things will work so he will going to tell you not me you know me i don't tell those things so what he will say so he will say about how these heap and stack make stick together to just to make you understand he will say everything whatever you understand yeah he will tell you everything believe me so let's move on to another part so here you can see there are few questions on binary tree so what are the questions are min max element in a binary tree then height of a binary tree very very important question regarding to the interview and then it comes to the uh, bfs and dfs believe me the most important things are the bfs and the dfs how it's done so you can go and then deleting a node from a binary tree so there are three steps of deleting a node he will tell you i won't tell you again i said i don't do that things then the next part comes is uh, what it comes yeah it's the in order successor and these see actually the point is and not no graph right now you can just try this graph the graph has a similar thing but for the graph i will tell you later uh, the reason is that in the graph portion uh, there are certain algorithms and different thing that i need to discuss and i need to tell you how to do those things what are important in that so let's try with trees first so as i said these are the important this is the minimum thing you need to solve in an before going to an interview this is a reality and you have to do that yes you have to no choice if you need a job you have to do that then coming to the our only side that is a geeks or geeks where we get a lot of knowledge so here you can see but then why we are using geeks or geeks is the reason i gave in the last video so do check that video out man you know that that is a like why why we use geeks or geeks people might be asking so who don't know the answer go in the last video and the answer is there the key to the answer yes then let's go to the next part that is the introduction so here what we do that the thing we did in link the link list part is that you have to at least solve these part that is the insertion of insertion in the binary tree how we do the insertion and you should know the complete thing because sometimes in the interview round they say make the whole tree make the complete tree and then delete or insert and then delete so you should you should be knowing how these things happen so in the introduction part uh, he might be telling you about how to make a generic tree how to define a tree in different languages so as i said in the last video again 
you know the concepts over there it's in c and c plus plus so you come up over here you see how to write those things in python and then you start so these few things are very important and after that and once you got a grab grab of all those things so mainly what are the important things so this is the important thing one of the how to like insert insertion then deletion bfs and the dfs bfs dfs don't take them lightly they are the key to the solving all the problem of tree binary tree okay so they, they are the most important things you cannot just miss them because they tell you how to traverse a tree and if you can traverse a tree you can get anything out of it you want yaar it's a simple thing so you go for bfs you go for dfs and it's all over yeah it's not completely over but it's over yaar everything follows the bfs and dfs only any one of the uh, two you can apply and you can get the answer for the maximum of it so what what now so if we solve few questions from here then traverses in order traverses and all that if you have time you can do more traverses more questions based on it it depends on your time and how much time you are trying to spend on it and what you can do once you understood how these traverses work how these things work so we move out of the platform called the lead code and you know why i said lead code because you need to check the previous video to know this thing so on lead code we have a function based coding and that's why you're using the lead code platform so we will go to the lead code and here is the interface and you know why this interface and where it came from If you don't know again i the same question to the answer is just check out the last video man and then you need to go to the section over here and again this difficulty level should be shorted to easy as i mentioned in each and every video of which i have done till now difficulty should be easy and then you need to solve few questions over there and if you think these are easy yeah just try it out they are like literally they will uh, what i can say is like they will build your concept to a another level so you just try these out so like for example take any just one question and these questions are very really important so you need to solve at least 30 40 questions i solve 50 that is that don't take in consideration to me but at least you need to solve 30 40 questions on this so to have to grasp a good concept so if you solve 70 80 questions man you will be at another level believe me and when it comes to so see the same thing as i said functional based coding will be given the roots will be given to you so in this question it was about the leaf similar as a some question which you have to answer i don't need to answer this question so you solve in this way this is it to the trees but now comes the important section what is important so when you go to a product based companies interviews they do they know you know the trees the binary trees they know that you even know the evil tree man you know the evil tree so what they will ask so they will be asking the n array tree though you that won't find in most of the competitive sites the n array tree and what i mean by n array tree that is the generic tree okay so there are questions of the n array tree on this particular lead code platform so if i go down go down can i find these n array trees yeah there are various i haven't solved the completed complete okay but you have to solve all these things these are the n array trees traversals so what is the n array tree so more than two branches the binary tree and if the branches are n then it's n array tree so you need to solve these questions because they ask questions based on this as well are you sure you can go and check on geeks for geeks interview section which i will tell you later how to use geeks for geeks at its fullest because you don't know how to use at its fullest right now so i will tell you how to use at its full benefit so let's go and move on to one of one more section hello guys so welcome to the without section and in this i received messages on the linkedin whatsapp and telegram asking that bhai i have done the in order pre uh, post order and the pre order traversal of the binary tree using the recursion yeah level order is done with the iterative approach but i have done this with recursion so should i move on and do the iterative approach so what i suggest you first get your hands dirty with the recursion part because that is easier part and if you are able to solve many question and easily you can solve that question with them then you can move on to the iterative part, part but mostly the company don't focus on this part like should you know the iterative approach they just let it go but if you want to learn that is not all the tough when you are able to do a recursive part and iterative part is also not that, that much tough so you can go with that and the next doubt was should i go and learn avl trees and all that thing avl b plus beta tree and even the tries listen 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 those are not anything not big things they are very simple things 
So if I explain a ABL tree in simple language, take uh, the very famous question that convert on a given binary tree or ABL tree. So what is an ABL tree? Yaar? With a high difference of less than one. Okay, less than or equal to one. When you will know, study height, what is height, then you can answer that thing. You can understand that thing. But mainly few people ask me these questions. So for them, I'm answering this. So what do you do? You sort this. You do the in order traversal. You get the sorted, sorted uh, the whole, the whole um, array of sorted elements you get. And then you pick the middle one. And then you take the left part of the middle element you put, uh, you have taken in the array and put it in the left subtree and the right side put in the right subtree automatically it will be a avl tree why yeah because the half side has gone this side the half side has gone the other side so maximum difference will be one between the heights if you know what i mean then you will understand but those who are who, who don't go who, who like who never got this part don't take attention you will get this part all as well because uh, this is something far ahead this is it guys and your doubts have been cleared so what you have to do so go down in the description link and there all the links are there all the links i have said all are there down there only only and that link list part is also there if you have watched this video completely i haven't watched those link uh, link list and all those things and what is more important which coding platform is very important video if you haven't watched that thing go and watch it as soon as possible so guys like share and subscribe this video and subscribe